And hello everybody, welcome to the Daily Planets edition of Athena's Web. Today we're taking a look at the weekend for you, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, the 13, 14, and 15 of January 2017. Well, <laughs> what a buzzy, busy uh, weekend we have here. Uh, between uh, 6 a.m. Friday and uh, we'll say uh, 11 o'clock on Sunday, there's 32 lunar aspects, <laughs> uh, well, approximately 10 a day, a little over 10 a day. Uh, and the moon deals with our, um, uh, our moods, our feelings, our emotions, our food, uh, our memories. Uh, they're the day-to-day -day banter that goes on and flashes across the old uh, brain pan. Uh, and we, we think about these things with our third eye, the inner eye, uh, just reflecting on where things are coming from. So these reflections are changing throughout the course of the day, big time. On Friday, uh, the moon is making its way through the sign uh, Leo. Uh, and so um, we're feeling a little busy early morning as though we're uh, caught behind the eight ball and uh, have to catch up between six and nine o'clock, we'll say. A uh, little bit more of a break along about noon. Uh, we don't feel too good about the food, but um, the, the personal uh, uh, humor uh, seems to be pretty, uh, pretty good about that time. Um, the moon in conjuncts Neptune and quintiles the planet Jupiter. Fairly busy, fairly buzzy. We don't necessarily agree with everybody through the course of Friday evening. Saturday. Well, the one planetary combination that we have going on Saturday occurs just about 9 o'clock this evening as the Sun semi-squares Neptune. So once again, our, our focus, our feelings, our emotions are uh, a little off cue, a little off center. Uh, not uh, uh, quite what we had wanted. Uh, we can't find certain things. Uh, trying to uh, place where um, stuff is is a little more problematic. There is a VC period Saturday uh, in addition to all this lunar activity from 10.17 in the morning until 10.52. So let's say from 10 until 10. Um, uh, and um, uh, again, it's, it's hard to uh, uh, get projects motivated, get, it, get um, precision uh, articles uh, ground down to a fine point sort of thing. At 10.52, the moon does enter the sign Virgo. Uh, Sunday is a little more meticulous. We can focus a little more. Uh, and there is a planetary combination on Sunday at about 2.30 as Mars semi-sextiles the planet Uranus. There's a little more stimulation. We feel as though we have some energy. If you indeed rested under the void of course moon yesterday, um, took some time to uh, recharge your batteries, then um, you should feel a little bit more of that enthusiasm, that energy, that initiative coming through today. Five o'clock on Sunday, back and forth, uh, in opposition to Neptune, contraparallel to Uranus, contraparallel to Mars, sesquiquadrate to the Sun, and contraparallel to Neptune, uh, along about 11 o'clock. Emotionally, we don't feel so good. <laughs> uh, it's hard to pin things down. Uh, things are persons, and um, uh, it, it's not the most pleasant of uh, uh, energies or activities. Uh, early afternoon or mid-afternoon is possibly some of the best, as Mars does semi-sextile Uranus, uh, introducing us to, to new challenges, new, to new situations, to new people, to something that's exciting or a little more dynamic uh, in its interplay. So, those are some of the main themes that we have going on throughout the course of the weekend. Um, there's really, strictly speaking, only two planetary combinations, one on Saturday, one on Sunday. Nine o'clock, the Sun semi-squares Neptune. On Sunday, Mars semi-sextiles Uranus. Uh, one a little uh, more romantic, um, uh, fanciful, uh, flighty, imaginative, quiet. Uh, the other a little more dynamic, a little more assertive, a little more energized. There you go. That's it for this weekend. Thanks a lot for tuning in. Um, Don Sero for AthenasWeb.com and Nantucket TV. Uh, as best you can, have a good one, everybody.